This video will show you how to create part one in activity 1.2.4 dimensioning. You can see a fully dimensioned drawing of the part in the bottom right of your screen. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to click on the front plane and then create a sketch. And then I'm going to click on the front of the view cube to look straight at it. And then we are going to click on the eyeball next to our planes to make those hidden. And then I'm going to start with a center point rectangle. You may have to click the drop down menu to get to that. And then click here. We're going to start with the outline of it, which if we look at our drawing is 3.5 by 2.5. So for the width here, I'm going to enter in 3.5. For the height, I will enter in 2.5. I'm going to hit the check mark. And then we're going to extrude this. So I'm going to select our rectangle, click the extrude button. And then if we look at the depth on the top view, it is, uh, has a depth of one. So by default, it has one. So we'll just hit the green check mark again. What we need to do now is place our hole on the front right here. So I'm going to click on this front of our rectangular prism, create sketch, and then click on the front again to look straight at it. And then we are gonna go up here to the center point circle. Again, you may have to click on the drop down to get it. And then I'm just gonna place it, don't place it on the origin and don't place it next to the origin or below it, just a little bit kind of diagonally from it. And then I'm gonna say, this is 1.5 if we look at our drawing there. And then we also need to give a few more dimensions. So I'm gonna go up to our dimension tool and then uh, from the bottom edge to the center point of the circle, it is one inch. From the right edge to the center point of the circle, it is one and a half inches. Finish that. And then we'll click on the circle that we just added. And I'm going to go up to extrude. And then this is a cutout, so we're gonna click remove here. And then from the drop down menu, I'm gonna go down to through all since the hole goes through the entire part. Click the check mark. We have one more thing to make, which is gonna be on the top of our uh, part here. So I'm gonna click the top and then create sketch. And then I'm gonna kind of rotate it around here a little bit and then click on the top of the view cube and zoom out a little bit. Okay, we're gonna enter another circle, basically what we just kind of did. So this circle has a diameter of 0.5. Make that a little easier to see. Uh, and then the distance from the bottom, bottom line to the center point of the circle is 0.5. The distance from the left edge to the center point is 0.75. Okay, our sketch is done, so we'll click the check mark. Now we just have to extrude this down just like we did the other hole. So click the circle, click extrude, and then I'm gonna change this to through all and make sure that remove is selected so it cuts. And then click your green check mark. And you should now have your first part completed.